Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to a physionic video. Today we're going to be answering the question of what is indirect calorimetry. Not to be confused with direct calorimetry. We are discussing indirect calorimetry in this video. So what is it? That is what we'll answer here in a short, sweet, science-based video. So if that's what you're here, to, you're here to find out, then you've come to the right place. Let's get to it. Okay, so what is it? Uh, indirect calorimetry is played off of direct calorimetry, and you can watch my video on direct calorimetry or my lengthy video on all of the calorimetry's methods. Uh, but essentially what we're doing is measuring oxygen consumption. So you see people with masks on, uh, not in the gym, I'm talking about at an actual facility with a hose that comes out of the mask, and they measure the amount of oxygen that you consume and the amount of CO2 that you then release. Uh, that VO2 exchange, that's what that's called, the VO2 exchange, uh, tells us uh, the amount of oxygen and CO2 that we end up consuming or interchanging. Now, why would that be important? Well, the reason why we measure that is because our metabolism is highly dependent on oxygen. We have to have oxygen for metabolism to function in every single one of our cells. So, that said, what we can do is measure the amount of oxygen that we intake and then that will correlate strongly with the amount of energy that our metabolism has to go through. So, what we've actually quantified it down to is oxygen, one liter of oxygen equals to roughly about five calories. So if we can then measure the amount of oxygen that's consumed in liters or another unit and then convert that and then into calories, then we can get the amount of energy that we end up consuming uh, or the amount of energy that we end up needing to uh, use that oxygen that we're consuming. So hopefully that made sense. Hopefully I was able to explain that uh, correctly. So really we're looking at our oxygen to determine what our cells need, what our entire body needs. So that said, that is indirect calorimetry uh, as opposed to direct calorimetry. That is the answer. Hopefully you found it informative. If you did, I would certainly appreciate it if you liked and shared the video as well as subscribe. Above all, subscribing to the channel certainly means quite a bit to me when I see that subscription number increase. So that said, I will hopefully see you in the next video. Have an awesome day. See ya.